So the garden at the house, or the gardens, are uh, have an irrigation system. It's just a single zone. They uh, they don't spray a, a whole lot of water or a whole lot of volume. Um, so I wanted to throw that on with my my home automation. So uh, I went over to Home Depot, uh, grabbed a tee, which um, gonna need for my particular setup. Um, got a um, half inch uh, shark bite connection. We'll just go on to PEX uh, to a half inch uh, NPT. And then I've got a uh, NPT to a M, what is that? No, GHT, uh, garden hose connection fitting with the valve on it just to shut it off if I need to. On eBay, um, I picked this guy up pretty cheap. This is a, uh, a 12 volt um, solenoid, half inch. Standard uh, NPT thread, uh, female threads on both ends. So, going to uh, put this stuff together here and uh, see how it works. Oh, also a uh, 12 volt adapter. Although I ordered a, a different one that's uh, weatherproof, but I'll, I'll use this uh, this one for right now just to uh, to test everything out. All right. So, well, I may not win any uh, awards for style here. Um, it does uh, the important thing. Is it functions? So I get all assembled here. Um, actually, we'll start on this side. So this is the main line coming in that uh, feeds off into my regular hose. So just teed that off with a, a shark bite fitting um, into that shark bite to half inch MPT into the into the uh, 12 volt solenoid, or solenoid, um, and then a manual shut off valve here. Uh, which I don't even know if I'm going to use that, but it's pretty much the one of the few uh, things that you can find at Home Depot that has the NPT to the GHT um, adapter that goes into the line that feeds the irrigation. Uh, so I just ran the 12 volt um, power cord through some um, through some cover. Uh, this is another quarter inch water line that I've got to tie in that goes to the front of the house. But for now. Uh, that runs along. It's all on a GFI protected outlet uh, to my temporary one here. So I just wire into this for right now until I get it finished up to my controlled outlet. So uh, I can run a, a schedule or I can just ask Alexa, turn on irrigation. Okay. There she goes. So I'll show you what this is doing this is all under my uh the front deck or the deck on the front of the house um so you can't see it but and it's a rainy day so i really don't need the irrigation but i've got a couple of heads down there i've got another head right here uh, this also feeds my little pond which loses a little bit of water from its um from the fountain at the top here but these lines run throughout the gardens all the way around the house, uh, which is great because we didn't have those. We haven't had those. Uh, I just put those in, I should say. Um, you haven't had them before, so that'll save us a lot of time this summer on the watering. Um, it wraps all the way around. And um, I use Stringify for the scheduling because with Stringify you can easily program the um, rain delay so it'll run uh, when no rain has been in the forecast and you can adjust all those parameters using stringify uh, but we'll just uh, attempt to shut it off here hope everything works Alexa turn off irrigation okay that's it perfect so it looks like it's going to work out nice, and if I really wanted to, we got plenty of room here. I could tap and continue to add different zones. But this is a pretty, pretty darn cheap way of uh, of doing it. The the solenoid again was $19.99 shipped. Um, shark bite. I know why they. The only thing shark about them is what it does to your wallet. It just goes after and attacks it. So I probably got another 20 bucks in the stupid shark bite connectors. Um, but still, for 40 bucks, uh, that's a pretty cheap irrigation system, and then plus your Z-Wave switch and uh, the adapter I ordered on, again on eBay for 4.95 shipped. So 
we're, we're not counting the outlet, 45 bucks tops. And if you if you want to solder your connections, I, I like these outside because I move the stuff around so much. It's just so easy to disconnect it and, and change your configuration. But if you wanted to get into to soldering those connections, you save 10 bucks right there, 15 bucks really, uh, just regular copper tees or, or nothing. So that's about it. It's, uh, it seems to be working great, and I uh, just thought I'd share it for any of you that were interested. Um, go to eBay, 12-volt solenoid. Uh, make sure it can handle the pressure you need. There's a million of them out there, 99% of them made in China anyway. Um, but uh, I'll, uh, if, if you need the model number of this one, let me see if I can even get it to focus. This is why I should invest in a real camera. There we go. And what is it, 10? Yeah, so that's 100 and like 120 PSI for the pressure. That's it, so uh, have a good day. Thanks.